ladies and gentlemen. Who we got him? It's time for Shadows of the Earth Tree. This is hype as heck. Let me tell you, just before we go here, um, I have watched the trailer. I think you could watch my reaction to that. But that's it. I haven't looked at anything. I haven't looked at any of the gameplay, nothing. I want to be as blind as possible. Um, I haven't even looked up, like, I haven't looked up anything. As you can see here, we're at a character that's basically completed aside from Journey 2. We haven't started Journey 2. We are level 146, which is feeling good enough for me. This is our uh, Bloodhound's Fang build. And uh, we're going to give that a try because it's got bleed. I have some other weapons in the back if bleed isn't doing a good job or something. But this sword has been pretty overpowered. And I like to do my first playthrough of FromSoft DLC with a nice overpowered weapon like that. So that's the way we're taking it. Now, um, I don't know anything for sure. But the original assumption was that you would enter this fight from Moog's boss room. And that makes the most logical sense to me as well. So that's where we're going to head. Which is down here. Is that an NPC or is that somebody that's always there? Is there if there's a new NPC that would be cool, kind of like oh, oh, okay. There's a merchant, but there's another NPC. Okay, you can talk to him. Can I touch the hand? Oh, brother. I'm so excited. Okay, who? That's a cool outfit. I want that cloak, brother. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? Um, I'm Leda. No, I paid for it. Like you. I was guided by faith along his untouch the withered arm. And you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the kind, my compatriot like us, they have heard kindly. If you can find them, they are. Come now. I will not be. F Come now, I will not be. F I could just kill her. No, we're not gonna do that. All right, let's freaking go. Yeah, take me to the realm of shadow, bro. I've never been so excited in my entire life. I read um, Smotown's um, review notes. He left a very nice uh, spoiler-free community post with his like review notes, and um, it was enough to get me real hyped for this. One thing I saw was, like, there's, like, a ton of bosses. I think they said 10 plus Remembrance bosses. Oh, dude. I love, like, the passageway. It looks so, like, Dark Souls, like, just, like, spawning in this kind of tight area. It reminds me of, like, Ashes of Ariandel. Um... Oh, brother. Oh, yeah, brother. I already have this on my desktop. Look how cool it looks. Oh, it's so much cooler than the Earth Tree. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and it's is it just a completely separate map? Oh, that's cool. You just press R1 to rotate to a completely separate map. Okay, I don't like that I don't know where it is in, like, relation to the lands between. Is it? It's just, like, a whole different realm. Oh, my gosh, that's so cool looking. So it's interesting to me that Mikola has the the Halig tree and the Shadow tree. Like, what is the significance of that? Gravesite plane. This is so cool. I love knowing that like the shots from the trailers are literally just from like the opening scene. Oh my gosh, that's the coolest skybox I've ever seen in my life. It just looks so freaking good. Okay, so we got like a mountain over there. There's a moon tower of some sort over there that's looking like our main destination real hard there's the fire guy from the trailer so i love that all the trailer stuff was from right off okay we're definitely going to check out that tree i know that there's going to be side stuff i don't know i guess i guess we'll try to do as much of the side stuff as possible i'm just hyped to be here you know i don't want to miss anything <clears throat> I believe the number was 30 hours, which is, like, really kind of a sweet spot for me. I think that's a really nice amount of hours. You know, that's basically, like, three work days or so. Maybe four. Four work days. 
which is a reasonable amount of time for a hardcore DLC. And then I think you'll probably be able to speedrun that in about 10. That's that's usually, you know, that's pretty average. Because I feel like... Probably less than that, actually. Like, when we're... Look. Okay, you could definitely go down there. There's an island over there. Brother. Brother, I'm losing my mind. I love that... It's just open world. It's just like the main game. Like, you're just in a place. It's not a legacy dungeon. You just go where you want. I'm still not going to craft anything, even though we're in a new uh, place. So, sorry, Elden Ring. I just don't have it in me to craft anything. Still got some nice Roman guys. Just some shadowy dudes. Okay. Very cool for you. That's a cool looking tree. Okay. It's a waterfall. Okay, that, I mean, it looks very much like you could go down there. Should we start down? Like, that seems like sort of a normal thing to do. I kind of want to find, like, a site of grace. Well, I guess we have one, like, right up there. jump this with my horse. Oh, you could definitely jump that. Come on, you definitely, definitely, definitely can jump that. <laughs> I feel like... Whoa. Brother, stop. Okay. I know all this stuff. Shadow Realm rune. They're do runes. That's cool. That's cool. Come here, Shadow Dog. Okay. I'm a little disappointed by that damage. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I should be one shotting dogs, but we are in the DLC. I wanted to look at that rune really quick. Okay, so just like one. Oh, it's worth 10k runes. That's nice of the game to give you that kind of moolah. These guys are one shot, so the dogs are just uh, strong boys. I'm okay with that. Oh, I can summon here. Does that mean there's a boss in here? Like a little. Oh, it's just a chest there. That seems more reasonable. Don't be a transporter trap. Okay. It's gonna start giving us. Oh, that's a dagger for sure. It's not a dagger. Am I real dumb? Where was it? It was like loopy looking. Is it not a... Is it a talisman? It is. It's a talisman. Raises attack power after each critical hit. Whew. That's kind of good. What even ones do I have on? Classic. I'll stick with that for now. I don't know that we'll really be parrying, but critical hits are always pretty good. Okay, let's go see this big fire boy. Um, 
Oh, there's a grace here. I was like, there's gotta be a grace in this area somewhere. Okay, so we could fight the fire boy quick, and then we could go back and go down to that little side area, maybe. He's got fire giants on his legs. Okay, that makes sense, I suppose. How am I supposed to fight a man with fire on his legs? Oh, you look, it's like fire giant. Those ropes are gonna break, right? Okay, you just jump. Changed his mind. Maybe. Okay. Hey, bro, you need to be on your horse. <laughs> yes. Ow. Can you just stop knocking me off my horse, brother? Okay, we've been going after this one. I guess I don't like that the fire comes as soon as he puts his foot down. Like, that doesn't give me much time to jump, does it? <laughs> to watch. Surely it's got to break after hitting it, right? Like, surely. I feel like otherwise it makes no sense to me. What? How else would I fight him? Okay, you have to jump before he hits the ground because the fire is instantaneous, which is the point that I yelled out about before. Oh, we got him! I don't know if it'll be enough to kill him, but we'll find out. I got that critical damage boost. Okay, so he's just like the giants, basically. Can I block it? Let's try block it. You can absolutely not block it. <laughs> he's like, what are you talking about? And then you can cycle it up. Okay. Thank you, Bloodhound's Fang, for just absolutely not working. <laughs> Game is punishing me for using the Bloodhound. Why am I not following it up? Am I doing it wrong? Is it R2? I literally don't even remember how to use the Bloodhound's Fang. <laughs> we might have to practice. I guess I could summon Mimic Tear, and <laughs> that would probably make this easier. I'm not going to use uh, Mimic Tear for any of the bosses. It's the same thing I did on my first playthrough. Except maybe, I think I might have used it for like Valiant Gargoyle. Um, I'll use it on anybody that I feel is a cheap boss. Um, that's just my own rules. Cheap bosses allow for cheap tactics. Okay, I have this reconfigured for my usual setup. I guess I don't mind that because it's not a faith build, so... On my faith builds, I would have my... My Cerulean Tears. But since we don't have Cerulean Tears, it's not as big of a deal. I also think I want to change my task, or my flask. I don't think that continuous healing, if that's even what I still have on, I don't know if it is for sure. If it is still what I have on, like, I don't think it's that useful. Oh, he got grabbed. I was like, what's happening? Oh, I can't hit him during the grab. I was like, why is nothing happening? I was in the air! Whatever. Oh my gosh, he kicked me! <laughs> this 
guy's a really funny move, though. I... <clears throat> I'm really not understanding the jump timing. I'm really not understanding the jump timing, Mr. Giant File Man. Oh, there was different title cards. I feel like I should be looking at this as well. That looks cool over there, whatever that is. Okay, let's get our runes and get out of here. like common dude my dude does not give up our rick wait what hold on shadow realm blessing consume scatter tree fragments to bolster your scatter tree blessing scatter tree blessing bolsters the recipient's ability to deal and negate damage but has no influence oh i don't think we have any bolsters summon spirits a damage but has oh interesting so you just get some little buffs on your ashes or your damage which is cool. I was gonna say, surely we don't have. It'll tell us, I think. Oh, it makes attacks more likely to break enemy stance in a mixed physic. Yeah, that's actually make pretty useful. I'm gonna keep that. Costs 140k to level up. Okay. Oh, there is a map. Let's get that map. And we'll go from there. So cool, okay. Alright, that's something. That's something. Oh, buddy. And then, yeah, you can go down there. I think that's where we want to go. That's where we're headed. Straight down. We gotta go down this path. They're just like coffins. I don't think that there's any necessarily specific things to get. What is that? It's a fire dog. Okay. It's a church. Is that a bad going? Oh, he's like a knight. Is there a grazing here? Oh, there's one of our buses. I see. Okay. I figured. Radagon, what are you doing here? Oh, it, it is. It's R2. It is. It's R2. Okay, I see. I f remember how to use the blood out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. A big door great chill. That's cool. My dude is just chilling. Wow, and you just get his axe for that. That's cool. So now we have one of those blessings we can use if we want to. Get your horn out of here. Not that that would be probably a good I don't know what a fire I could possibly do. Nothing down there. Nothing over there. Okay. 
Okay, this is interesting. There's no grace over here. Which feels weird. Anything like hidden in this part. I played video games before. Kill it! Okay. Oh, Blessing of America. Interesting. I thought America would not be here, really, because this is like Mikola's homestead. Why was there a summon? Oh, could I have used Mimic to fight the knight, maybe? It feels real weird that there's not a grace here, right? Like, all the way over here? That feels weird, right? It makes it look like I should be able to go over there. Oh, it's that map fragment there. Okay. So maybe this is just a little side cliff down here. Let's go up this way. Oh, I guess we have a, a, a statue. <clears throat> what are the lore implications of there still being statues of America here, though? Like, I half expected them to be like statues of Mikola or something else that you would respawn at. I guess the Shadow Realm is not a complete replacement. And at least I am still at the point where we're just not understanding the implications of the Shadow Realm. How do I get all the way down? Dude, that looks so cool. I love how it's red. Are those like red leaves? Oh, there's a dead dragon. Dude, that's sick. There's a donut. I want to go to the donut. Oh, and there's another fire boy. I have no idea how we get all the way down there. Must be a later thing. Oh, there's a building up there. Can I get to that? Make sure there's not like any way down. There's definitely not. That's like way too far for us to access it now. It's definitely going to be accessed by doing something. Or by an alternate later route that like brings us back around. Oh, this is where we spawned. For real. Yeah, this is for real where we spawned. <laughs> That's so funny. Is there... Okay. But we want to go up. And it feels like there should be a way to get up there. Usually you can kind of see it. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's like... Yeah, it's some. It's like over there or something. Let's just um, hug this left wall and head this direction. Are those like gargoyles or them? What are y'all? It is. It's like a gargoyle. I don't like it. Trees. Why did the DLC always be having creepy trees? I guess I'm just... I really have, like, um, Dark Souls 3 in the mind. They had all them tree enemies in the DLC. What are y'all? I feel bad. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was a mistake. They're like the jellyfish, but they're jelly worms. What are you? Ah, a mausoleum, you say? Is this just a little boss? a little bit. Okay. The recovery... Is that how they nerfed Bloodhound Swing? I don't really know, but it feels like the recovery is really, really long on it. Always runs backwards. I feel like did they know that everybody was gonna use Bloodhound Spank and design the bosses to avoid it? Because that's lame from Software. I'm not okay with it. Oof. This guy's hardcore. My golly.
<laughs> yeah. I was like, that big sword. Look at my deparable. Oh yeah, brother. We found his weakness. <laughs> no way, okay. <laughs> whatever game, whatever game. The Black Jail Knight. He's got a lot of health. That's what's surprising me the most. Spamming. Okay. <laughs> I did, maybe the parry is not going to work because we're just like two on our toes. But he's he's annoyingly like po poisy. He's just really really at you. Oh, like he loads before he starts the fight. I think that's the implication. Oh, much better. <laughs> he said, would you like to see my machine gun? My brother. They put a ban on bump stocks. You can't bump stock your crossbow. I'm not okay with it. Should've known whenever he was loading that thing that that's bad news. I should've just gone aggressive. Aggressive is the best way to go with like most of the NPC bosses. As a matter of fact, I should probably just try running in here and like r one him to death because that's usually pretty effective. I feel like he's taking a hunk of damage though. Like, can I upgrade my weapons further for this DLC or what? Okay, screw you. Lucky for you, I'll just lock them. Okay, this is what I told you. We should have just been r one him to death the whole time. I knew it. Rude. Rude. There's no way that his attacks are faster than my heal. Elden Ring's healing is so sluggish. It's like the only issue that I've always had from this game from the beginning. It takes like literally about a millennia and a half to heal. Are you actually joking me? This guy is nuts. He's out of the world. I can't even.
give me mimicked here, dude. Because, like, these NPCs are not who I'm wanting to spend all my retries on. This guy's absolutely... Cr oh, he's on crack cocaine. Raid. This guy's on absolute crack. He's on crack. Like, that's not fair. Get off your drugs, my dude. Let me hit you. What am I doing? Dodge. Like, I can't even trade him! I can't even trade his hits. Maybe he's on that much crack. That's absolutely nuts. This machine gun is on absolute crack. It's nuts! Oh, you can just straight them, actually. <laughs> when you're far enough away, I think. Oh my gosh! He's already, like, the tankiest boss I've ever fought in this game! It makes no sense that I can't side strike this, by the way. It, like, absolutely no sense. This guy's- this is- this is the most on-crack boss! He's harder than- than Millennia by- by keystrokes! My golly! What am I doing wrong, bro? Does he have a weakness? Is there a kryptonite nearby? Because I'm not seeing it. He's got so much health. Like, am I supposed to take a blessing or something? Am I supposed to summon a cooperator? There's a stake America and there's a cooperator's pool. I don't know what else to do. Like, this is, I know from some things this is really funny. They're like, we're going to put this guy and his absolute crack cocaine right in front of the first grace. Let's go back to the r one strat. It was working pretty good. There's my bleed. Oh my gosh, he does it! It he does an ankle bite! <laughs> Who put this guy on crack? Who put him on crack? He does an ankle bite. So if you are too close to him, when he powers up his little, <laughs> then he he bites your ankle, so you can't move. Oh my hands. Brother, what is with these load times? Is it new? I know it's new. Is it the servers? Bro, disconnect me from the interwebs. Okay, the R1 strat was working. Let me drink this as well. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I didn't expect him to just shoot at me as soon as I walked in the door. His ankle bite, and it's a one-hit kill. Oh my gosh, you can't even—you can't be close to him because he'll bite your ankle, and you can't be far from him because he'll shoot you with his machine gun.
Oh yeah, get knocked down. And I get up again. Ain't nobody gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. Okay. This is annoying. This guy's on absolute crack. I can't believe him. Oh my gosh, dude. And you can't avoid that attack. Like if he decides he's gonna do it, you're just screwed. It's this is nuts. This guy is nuts. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not fighting him. I'm leaving my 60k souls there and I'm leaving. He's nuts. Gank bosses are not a good he's basically a spell spammer, except that he has a crossbow machine gun. The absolute hardest PvP boss in the game. What does he remind me of? He reminds me of um oh the one in Bloodborne. The uh, the one that nobody fights in Bloodborne because he's on literally crack cocaine. Um um Like the one in the church that kills the crow feather. I forget what her name is or what his I don't know what I actually don't even know if I know what his name is like legitimately. But yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Don't do drugs, kids. Or I maybe do do drugs and you'll end up like that guy like I don't know. Maybe you should do drugs. Ooh, a person. A person's a person no matter how small. Or weird looking. A multiple persons? What is this? Touch cross? Huh? Huh. You're that tarnished. Guided air, but I am Freya. I once fought in battle. Okay. Oh, and if you speak to her, if you've yet to do so, having give you a map of the crosses where you'll find more of them they are Mikola the Kinds. Okay. Yet, assuming you Okay. You? Fight another. Then as that woman would truly say, but understand. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. I believe Mikela's apologies, but never Where's the do I have my audio turned like away? I think I do. No, oh, it's standard. And if Mikela it is whom you would see these, are, I urge you, as long as you are Okay. Oh, check in inventory. Oh boy, the Elden Ring's inventory organization is a little rusty as well. Meeting place map, cross map. These crosses indicate Mikula's footprints. Okay, but like, what does that mean for me? Like, here's one. Carved words coalesce. I abandon here the first of the flesh of my body. I'm assuming that we have to touch all three then to do something. Like, is this progress, though? Because I don't want to necessarily... Oh, yeah, that looks pretty progressy. Where I'm going. Like, this would be... Okay, if I face this direction... Yeah, I'm literally going up here to the big gold city. Okay. I feel like I don't want to do that yet. Those crawl. I mean, you probably can see them from a pretty good distance, right? Well, I guess not really. Okay, so there's the fire guy that we didn't fight before. Oh, you can go down over there, maybe. Okay, let's do that then. Instead of following the road, let's cross and try to go through this hole over here. That seems like good progression. Oh. 
Classic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll cross the bridge over here. Dude, it's literally Ashes of Ariandel. Why is this entire DLC just Ashes of Ariandel, dude? Get these flies out of here. I'm not interested. Is this bleed? What am I suffering from? Oh my gosh, it's literally Ashes of Ariandel. I both do and do not support the recycling of enemy types. <laughs> it gets a nice callback. I mean, these enemies suck. Everybody knows that, but like, I don't know. Just make some new enemies. Like, they're exactly the same. They right down to the attack where they like fly at you and grab you. Doesn't feel very creative to me. Who am I to judge? Just a lowly game player. There's our uh, spirit ash blessing. Okay. Alright, okay. Cool armor. No, thank you. Okay. 
We're finally wrapping, right? Like, this is back. Oh, okay, there's the thing down there. I'd love to see it. I am disorientated. These are just like some coffins. This big link. Damn, that's got it's a dragon for sure, right? Is it not a dragon? I can't tell. Give me Augu Lake. Cortis. Can I summon my mimic here? Can I use my mimic here anywhere in this in the shadow lands? Never once had that happen in the main game. I guess it's just because we're novel here. Like we just haven't done this before. Like we're literally out of class. Because I got that drink to get my horse back. Everything is just absolutely annihilating me. And I'm doing no damage to any of it. Like what? Am I missing something? Should I not be using bleed for this run? Like am I in an absolute mistake? He's got a map. I wanted to do this run with Grafted Greatsword, but that one's New Game Plus 2. I made the mistake of going to, to New Game Plus in that one. I'm kind of upset about it. the bubble tier protected you too or i mean the horse too that would be a cool feature we're giving this one more try but it like if i just can't get it then I'm not doing it. It's, like it's just another dragon it's the exact same attack pattern except that he has the most ridiculous health pool i've ever seen in my life what is the timing on that it's nutty dude That's 
the dumbest thing. That's so dumb. It's unbelievably dumb. <laughs> But it wouldn't be Elden Ring without unreasonable AoE, unavoidable attacks. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be playing Dark Souls. There we go. This is going to do no damage either. working pretty good on foot. I almost never fight the dragons on foot, but I just feel like he was absolutely, like, spamming my horse. His arms are faster than anything I've seen in my life. Dude. He's got the fastest arms in the West. At least that attack is reasonable. So unbelievably dumb. No, nobody can change my mind about how dumb that is. That's absolutely the dumbest attack. It's just nonsense. It's like we're gonna make our dragon enemy realistically more difficult by, uh, you know, just giving him some AOE stomp. <laughs> okay, that wasn't the worst thing I've ever done, but give me 200k souls, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My dude is not even worth a level. A somber Ancient. Mm, how many of those do I have? Mm, like five? <laughs> yeah. Alright, he's useless. Let's just remember that. He absolutely worth zero souls. Let's go to that dungeon. So far, I'm really disappointed um, by the exploration. Feels generic, feels repetitive. Um, I'm gonna be critical like I'm, I'm not afraid like everybody was giving this like absolutely glowing reviews And I'm looking forward to a lot. I'm looking forward to getting into the remembrance bosses But so far the exploration feels exactly like the rest of Elden Ring copy paste a dragon copy paste a PvP enemy with a machine gun copy paste our flies from Dark Souls 3 and Yeah, that's it's really pretty <laughs> But it's uninspired so far and it's going to be worth 100k souls, even though that's harder than any of the dragons that you fight in the main game. And those dragons are worth like 200k. The late game dragons are all worth like 200k. Uh, like Borealis of the Freezing Fog is uh, like a 200k dragon. He's at least like 150, because I always kill him main game. And you get at least a level from it. Oh, I guess I should probably rest, because, like, we have no heals. <laughs> very, very funny. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, yeah, I can put blessings on. I'll use those maybe for bigger bosses. I don't know, I never use consumables. Oh, I've got all these remembrances. Oh. Wow, we have so many runes. <laughs> I kind of forgot what we were doing. So uh, it takes 140k for me to upgrade. Should I try and do that? Who of these can I use? Like on this playthrough? I'm probably not going to use whatever this guy's got, right? The Elden Remembrance, surely? Yeah. I'm willing to take the risk. It's Yeah, it's like Radagon's uh, weapon. Radagon's hammer and then like the glowy face sword, I think.
I guess I can still boost my damage pretty significantly, so I guess we'll do that. Dexterity, and maybe get our victor up to 70. I don't I don't really know what difference um, 70 vigor is going to make, if much of any. Sneezing. Allergies. Y'all. <clears throat> oh. Wait. Did I just go backwards? Did I? Did I just go backwards? I just went backwards. Surely. How did I manage that? Ah, <laughs> this looks more interesting. Wow, look how cool. This is a cool area. Hit Shadow Boys, I'm okay with that. I was thinking surely you'd be able to fall down there. Evidently not. I like the blue aesthetic. Okay. Alright, I really am not going to spend, like, I know that this is not a legacy dungeon. It's a cool dungeon, but I'm not going to fight all these lads. We're just going to book it through here. Book it through here. This is cool. I like that. I just drop down? I think just drop down. Is this there where they'd be making the jars? That's kind of cool. Is this where all of them come from? The Shadowlands? Okay, I'm assuming that you can go down on those jars, like, surely. Are these notes? Are people even notes already? Are these just candles? Just candles, is that a note? No, this is frostly maggot. Surely you can drop down those jars. This is not a boss room. I don't know if I believe that this is not a boss room. What is that? Are you a boss? Quite. Oh! Okay, you're boss, you're boss, you're boss. I'm sorry I said anything. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it. I didn't mean to say it. Gross. Is that what the inside of the jars are, supposedly? That's grody. 
Shadow Labs, can you just move for a second? Can I get all of them? Yeah. That fat thing. The best thing to do uh, from software parkour is honestly to just eat. Like, don't even think about it. Don't, pract don't like, line up and take your time. Just, like, eat it. It's the absolute best way to do from soft parkour. It's the best lesson I can ever teach you. These freaking guys, get out of here, bro. Little jaws. <laughs> okay. Y'all, I'll just leave you be. I'll just leave you be. Y'all do your thing. I don't. We don't need to fight. I'm okay with them. This is a really unique dungeon, so we are stepping up our game here. <clears throat> Some nice unique enemies that are weird, and I don't like them. But... Some trippy traps, which is fine as well, I suppose. What's a dungeon without some trippy traps? That one seemed pretty unavoidable too, so I assume that you have to come down here pretty much. Using the pots as like a navigation is kind of cool, like a maze, a maze of pots. I'm into that. Yeah, big pots. Finally. Good. No, I really, I don't want it with y'all. I don't want it with y'all. I don't. I don't want it with y'all. place where the pots are being made y'all uh -huh. is that a steak yeah i'm gonna stick america okay kiddos let's drink this i do need i need to change this somebody remind me to change this because that stagger doesn't last long enough to make it good if it lasted for like a minute that would be such a great um thing but it's just not holy moly you're a nutcase okay all right Sorry, Mr. Monkey Man, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Okay, crossbite, of course. Makes very much sense. Um, I'm sorry, Millennia, Blade of Monkala? There's no way that both of those missed, dude. The monkey man is crazy, dude. Oh, he's not staggerable, okay. At least not by my R1s. Okay. Dude, that's just beyond imagination. <laughs> he's a monkey man. Demi Human Swordmaster Ons. He kind of cool. I like that it's kind of unique. He's like a crazy Bellarat jail. Is he in jail down here? Is he meant to be in jail down here? He's kind of cool. He kind of cool. Gosh, he's got magic. You're not a sword master, you're something else entirely. Is 
damage is wild. Everything's damage is wild. Like, I am feeling like I need more HP. I think I'm gonna change out my critical hit talismans for, like, endurance and HP. This definitely feels like we need it. Oh, you can summon him! That's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. I wonder if he's as, like, OP as he looks, cause he's pretty OP. Pretty OP. Is that it? Like, there's not even, like, a chest down here? That seems kinda... slim. Like, I like that they spirit ashes, <laughs> but... Is that it? Okay, let's start with... Um... This? Take this one out and put something else in. Poise could be cool. I'm gonna try that. I, don't, I wonder, it just depends on how temporary it is. I don't know, I kinda like just the healing. Especially because we're just healing like so much. <laughs> it's like actually crazy. Okay, let's do this. All this stuff was from like the parry playthrough, which we don't do until the second playthrough, really. Like, should we literally just greatly raise maximum HP? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about that. And then we could do runes. Attack power after each critical hit, HP upon defeating.
Okay, to me it was looking kind of like you could go like there. I just want to see if you can. You can obviously get down from that side. I'm not sure that you can get down from this side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that's a hard no. Okay, so that is something that we have to come back to then. That lower area, okay. I guess we should cross the bridge then. Oh my gosh, there's so many places to go. Well, um... You know, you never take the... Well, actually, maybe I should go straight and we can get a side of gray. Yeah, there's a side of gray, so of course. Of course. Now I'm really confused, though, because the grace isn't pointing anywhere, which is interesting. That's a place for sure. I kind of want to go right, I think. And then come back here. I'm going to just put these blessings on. I'm assuming that they last until you die. Do I have more than one? Oh, so you should just do okay, so you just it just boosts you up more for the DLC. Oh, boosting my damage maybe. Maybe that'll help then. Like maybe I literally needed to boost my damage to even be able to like take on some of the uh, enemies that I've been trying to fight. Love y'all fighting each other. Keep it up. <laughs> Ruin Forge Lava Intake. At least these areas seem cooler. They're cooler than just like regular dungeons. The altar of the forge cannot be far. Wow, look how cool that is. Oh heck yeah, we love some lava areas. I love a good lava area. Hit them where they're weakest. I always do, mate. an enemy. Does that mean hit him in the back? Surely. That's what that means. Adds new meaning to like voodoo boss.
Oh, does he not even have a bot? You like literally just supposed to hit him in the back. So, okay, so this is technically a mine. You could get lots of smithing stones. <laughs> okay. At least it's a cool looking mine. interesting. Oh, we're back at the start. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Kind of fun. Kind of funky. I guess we actually um, found the Cerulean Coast, by the way. Um, I haven't really done much in the meantime. We fought, like, a boss or two, and, and yeah. Um, we went through this dragon. Not real bosses, just, like, demi-humans, and what was the other one I fought? It was, like, a monkey swordsman. Maybe I got that one on video, actually. I don't remember. I actually think we've done everything here. But I'm going to check this left side and make sure there's nowhere to go, like, up to the left here. Like, what is this? Like, a dam? This is pretty much it. Unless I can go out to the left here, that's what we're gonna try to do. Cause I already went out to the end of this like continent and there's like not much there. So the question is just like, can we go this way at all? I don't really 
really think so. Oh, JK, we are, we're going somewhere. I don't think we'll be able to get up to the dragon just yet. Oh, the hands are here. Wow, just jabrecked me. Does it look like there's anything to do here? Kind of doesn't. <laughs> kind of doesn't seem that way. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see if we can get there later, I guess. Surely there's a way to get over to whatever the frick that is. We were there. I think this is a path right here. From there, maybe? Oh, maybe that is from this. I just want to go back to this and see if we could take it. There's a, there was a second path. So there's like a path like down, and then there's a path like to the right. I just went down. Let me think about this. Let me try this one. I think it was this one. Like, you come out here, and then you can go down by hopping on those things, and that's what I did, and I didn't go this way. Oh, we're like under that great bridge. Buzzing flies, some buzzing flies. There's a crab. Is that more stamina recovery? That could be worth a DLC run. It's 
Hehe. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna put that here instead. We don't need more stamina so much as we need to recover stamina. Okay, it kind of seems like that's it here. Like, we can't go down, and we can't go up. So, it seems like this was just, I guess, a stray path? We followed this path all the way down, basically. Is that an off path, or is that just cuts on the map? I can, like, never tell. I think it might be, like, rivers or something. We could go up here and try to make our way that way. That's interesting. Like, where's that at? Maybe I should try to find those crosses as well. Uh, where was that in here? That's not helping me, to be honest. I think we go back here. I don't know, is this the main area? And how on earth are we gonna get over there? Do we even get over there, or is it just decorative? Like, this is 100% accessible where this dragon is. This is, for sure. And so is this. I don't think we're going to be able to get over here until we get up to whatever that is. I'll put a marker on that too. Maybe we, can we get up there? Let's go back up here and see if there's any way to go up. <laughs> It's like up there. Shortly. I don't think the access to up there is from down there. I went up to that shack and there was nowhere, yeah, so to get up there is definitely related to like that path. Oh, it's that, is it that path? I think it's that path. Does that path go up? Let's go back here, quick. Let's see if there's a path that goes up those trees. Oh, yeah, because I went down there, right? And then that took me up to the forge, I think. Oh, there's a cross. Lay 
lady led us both in another tarnished. My name is Teo. I too am tarnished. So, here's to me be. Uh, well, I'm, I'm as weak as I've always been this. I'm afraid the I'm sorry. Okay, so he just. Okay, it's the same words every time, so he leaves three parts of his body. I, I don't know if the discovery of them is actually going to do anything for us. But. Interesting nonetheless. Are they like smiling? I never even looked at their face. They're like a smiling worm. It's like smiling. <laughs> this is so weird. Was it pain? My dude is not. Okay. Okay, so you can go that way, or you can go that way, which is probably up. Hmm. I kind of want to go up first. It seems sort of right in my mind. view okay so that's where we just came from that's see that looks real um <laughs> legit to me but i guess we're sort of also going that way but i think we have to go up there and then we have to go through that and then up into there i love when you can see the game ahead of time and this stuff looks more like side areas so that's definitely what i think we should try to do first okay now my other question is can i get here am i facing that direction yeah, it's basically over here. Can I get down from this tower? That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. I love that Venom Emco and logo. It looks really cool. It's the simple things. I definitely don't think we're gonna be able to drop down. Let's just go down and see, I guess. Wait, what's this? I mean, all manners of death wash up here and they to be suppressed. Hmm. Wait, does it say outside the lens between? Oh, the very center of the lens between. Interesting.
maybe if we get a new weapon, we'll try a new weapon anyway for the DLC. I have what should be like more than enough material. To my right. Yeah. No, it's to my left. I can't even. It's like over here. Like what? This is, it's definitely gonna be an area that we get to like way later, isn't it? Like it looks that way, very much Lizo. I just have no idea how we would get down there from here. But yeah, that you definitely cross there to get over to that, right? Surely. But we still need to go. I guess we could check out like this too. Let me guess go down first. There was a um This looks so cool. This tree. The coolest looking tree. getting invaded. Ancient Dragon Man. for doing that. <laughs> Kinda lame. There's lots of places in the DLC so far where you just come to get some views. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. Yeah, okay, okay, I guess. Dragon's Pit. That's a cool name. where I came from.
no mimic here on. So you get an ancient dragon smithing stone for that, which is interesting, I guess. I don't really love boss enemies just being enemies, but I'll tolerate it. There's no way around. That doesn't seem right to me. Be brave, show no fear. Oh, it's an invisible bridge. <laughs> it's not invisible. Is it an invisible bridge? Okay. It's not an invisible bridge. What else do they mean by be brave, show no fear? 